because uh, their families, even with visas, are not welcome into the U.S. anymore. So they're being like detained and sent back at airports, just like this one. And that is why we're here, so that if anyone around us, or maybe anyone who's right here, like inside these doors, is facing that fear, and hopefully they can hear us, and know that they're not alone. Uh, so basically, this is why we're here. And I just wanted to thank everyone. I know it's, I mean, from coming from the cathedral to here, it's a long commitment of your time and day, but this is what's gonna take to show the love and continue to be in community so that our Muslim brothers and sisters and any immigrants and any refugees trying to come here to feel safer and in a better place are welcome. So I invite you, if you have anything to say or any words of support, that you do so, so that other folks, even the workers at the airport, uh, can listen to us and hopefully join us and stand in solidarity so that our refugee communities no longer fear and our refugee communities are brave enough um, to keep fighting because they have to keep fighting and they need us. Thank you. Uh, but they're afraid to actually even speak their minds even though they're here illegally for fear that their green car be taken, you know, that they won't be able to stay here because once they speak out, then somebody like Trump will label them, oh, they're a troublemaker, they're a terrorist, deny her out. Uh, so it's good that we're here and that we, even if nobody's being detained here, which hopefully they're not, uh, we say we can respond quickly. We're not going to just go to main plaza somewhere that's safe totally safe and totally non-threatening we're going to respond to people being taken and we're not we're, we're going to rapidly respond we're not going to just sit idly by so it's great that we're here to say that we don't that, that we're going to keep the board the, the, the lanes open for people and be welcome and, uh, people from other yeah, yeah. yeah. we want to grow our size we want you to post on Facebook, let people know that we're here and that we're going to be here for a while. We want to get this crowd bigger. We want to make it expensive for this airport and the airlines that fly planes here to continue to be complicit in policies like retaining the refugees. If we can make it this expensive for them, they become a wedge against us. And so it's very important that we come here and that we think in that way, that we think strategically about how we can shut stuff down. And I think that that's one of the first ways we can be, begin thinking about how to demobilize this kind of machine. So I just wanted to say thank you very much. What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! It's really a, a beacon to show that there's strength in numbers and as more people talk about things that you see are wrong, um, people listen. So I'm so glad that y'all are here tonight and uh, I, I'm or whether or not we raise enough ruckus, but the, the ruckus we really want to raise is to highlight the fact that we stand in solidarity with people who are seeking refuge here, who are fleeing from violence, uh, who have a legal right to be in this country. That's what I think. No Trump, no KKK, no fascist USA. 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 What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. Yeah.